I'm John Eustace, Product Manager for Sika, and today I'm going to explain the wet batch procedure for concrete with fibres. When batching concrete with fibres, extra care needs to be taken to ensure quality concrete is produced. If fibres are batched incorrectly, it can cause spalling, concrete balling, difficulty in finishing, and ultimately poor quality concrete. Complaints arising from incorrectly batched concrete can result in returned loads, increased costs, reduced productivity, so it's important to get it right first time. Plastic fibers are delivered pre-packaged in handy four kilo bags. They need to be stored in a dry place and protected from the environment. You don't need to open the bags before batching as the packaging will all disintegrate within the mixing. The suggested batching procedures are based on our own testing. Different concrete plants, trucks, and materials may give varying results. Please ensure individual plant trials are carried out prior to supplying any concrete. For wet batching, follow these steps. Step one, add all the ingredients into the concrete plant mixer, including the fibers. Fibers can be added directly to the concrete plant mixer or onto the conveyor belt, depending on the plant setup. Step two, mix for the normal amount of time as specified by your concrete plant. If the fibers cannot be added to the plant mixer, then we recommend following the dry batch procedure which is available on a separate video. If microfibers are to be added to the concrete, they should be added up front and with one third of the batching water into the same chute as you added the structural fibers. If these procedures are followed, then correctly mixed concrete will be supplied.